What's going on, people? So, this is the last video for today, right? Yeah, because I don't see me doing much else. Gotta get to a, what is it? The Expendables are playing tonight, so I gotta get to that in a little while here. They're playing with Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo is opening for them, but yeah, should be a really good time. So, this right here, two boxes with two pairs of shoes, right? One shoe or one pair per box. And it's actually the same shoe, right? So if you saw the thumbnail, you know exactly what we're talking about here. Now, when I bought these, one pair came from Dix, one pair came from Hibbit? Is that right? I think that's right. I feel like that's right. So anyways, but like I said, it's the same shoe. Just one is a nine and a half and one is a 10. Because the thing is, my brother, he kind of likes some of the stuff that I send him, right? And I thought maybe he'd like these as well. So I bought him a pair since I was able to, right after I got through on mine, I was able to get through on another site. So I was like, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if, see if I can get, let's get one for him, right? I mean, Christmas is coming up, so I guess that's somewhat of an excuse. But really, I just buy him stuff once in a while because it's just nice to do that, I suppose. But I guess uh, if you are out there and you're trying to get some free Yeezys or whatever, Convince somebody that has the money to buy Yeezys to do a YouTube channel and then, you know, be friends with them or something. And maybe they'll once in a while throw something your way. But I guess if you're a, a terrible person or something, then nobody's going to want to be your friend. So if that's you're the case, like, figure that out before you start trying to find somebody and convince them to, you know, buy a bunch of shoes or whatever. Because it's not going to work out. But anyways, so which one is which? Okay. So, but yeah, so here's the thing, right? side of the boxes for you there's going to be one and then there's also going to be because there's two there's going to be another one but here's the thing right <clears throat> i know that we both wear the same size and i get the whole thing like yeezy's fitting a little slim to some people i'm not sure what his preference is on that right because i i also don't really know what his exact foot is like you know what i'm saying because there are some people who have like a foot size where it's like, yeah, everything works out perfect for them. And then there's some people where it's like, oh, like, like I was talking to somebody and like, yeah, I almost feel like my foot size is like 10 and a quarter because like 10s like, and 10 and a half, like it, it, they don't always fit right, but you know, cause I'm, I'm right there somewhere in the middle. Like, yeah, I can see that. But yeah, so I just figured like, I'll just get him a 10. I'll see how that goes. And then, depending, the next time around, you might just go true to size, right? Which kind of gives you an answer on how I feel about, like, easy sizing or whatever, if you put all that together, you know? Some of that, pay attention to some context clues or whatever. But anyway, so now we got these out here. I forget which, like I said, which one came from where. I want to say his pair was from Dix and mine was from Hibbit. But either way, so now that we have these open here, go ahead and look at them real quick and all that stuff. You know, when I saw the name the first time, like in pictures or whatever, or people like, oh, check out these. I saw the MX, you know, and I was like, is it like Mexican Oat? Is that what the name of this is? Because I thought it was just like abbreviated. Some people also use MX for maintenance as well, but that didn't make sense. What does it say on the side? Yeah, this says, oh, they actually spelled it all out, MX Oat. But yeah, so I don't know if the MX means something, or maybe it does mean Mexico in this sense. I honestly have no idea. But regardless, they ended up with a pretty decent looking piece of shoe here. So, that being that, I'm going to use this pair because this is my pair. That being that, let's go ahead and get a review going on these right here. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the MX Oat colorway. Hmm. I'll, get, I'll come back to that later. Let's go ahead and start this thing with the bottom down there what you're looking at right so it's pretty much your standard outsole right that you've seen on 350s and stuff nothing too fancy about it. it's not even a cool color moving on up to the midsole here second verse same as the first right what you saw down there is what you're seeing up here for the most part slightly different shade and you kind of tell especially if you look on the back where it has that slightly discolored portion right that usually matches up with the outsole so there's that for you and then there of course you can kind of see a little bit of the boost or whatever that's what that whitish piece is now taking a step back looking at this whole upper right you can kind of look at it and get a pretty good idea for what you're seeing and all that good stuff so there's not a whole lot of stuff to break down so 
this should be relatively smooth and painless. Now, getting down in here and talking about this, right? So in the upper here, it's gonna be like the standard prime knit type stuff that you have on 350s, right? Nothing that you haven't seen before. Oh, if you've seen a pair of 350s, it's nothing you haven't seen before for the most part. This does feel a little bit weird though. So I'll have to put these on a little bit later and see you know, if I have some different thoughts of whatever when it comes to the sizing and whatnot. There'll be words across the screen to talk about it. But something about these just feels a little weird. Like there's, I don't know if there's always that little cagey part feeling down in there or not. I don't know, I feel like it's not. But either way, so looking at the shoe, right, you got the, the standard type of upper styling for the most part as far as like material goes, but the look is what's totally different. So you got these integrated colors just kind of splashed around in there, whatever. However you want to compare that to, or whatever you want to compare that to, go for it. Make your own decision from there. But it's got some blue, some reddish color, a little bit of orange, right? And I mean, I'll just be giving you like different shots of like different segments of the shoe or whatever, so you can kind of see what I'm saying while I say what I'm saying. And then, splitting that up just a little bit on the side of course you do have that you do have that cage part that you can kind of see through or whatever screen part i should say so you got that going on and then in there you can see straight through it on the middle section but then the full, the front and then the back not so much because on the back you have the inside like the padding for the heel and on the front you have that cage part that i was talking about so kind of like the inside of an adidas ultra boost uncaged right you have that kind of thing going on so you got that and then moving on to the back end right so back here you do have the pull tab or the heel tab whatever you want to call that thing and that's going to be in the same style as you saw on the what was that the mist mono the mono mist or the mono other one that i bought what is that mono ice yeah mono ice mono mist same style here it's that not so great feeling thick plastic not a fan of that all right so that's happening though and then speaking of that, right, moving back over here to the front, the one thing that I noticed when I was taking these out of the box, I kind of heard it and I was like, because uh, it's that very familiar sound of, of plastic rubbing on plastic and I don't like it. So they went with the same laces that they went with on those mono shoes and uh, I would not have wanted that. If, if they asked me, we would not get these types of laces. We just get the standard soft ropey laces made out of whatever normal material not this crap but that's what they went with so it gives you a nice look you know until you get up close and then you're like oh mm, no thank you but that's happening in some sort of a beige off whitish type of color whatever it is right so there's that for you but i guess if you truly don't like them and if you want to put the time into it since they're not infinity laces you can switch them out so you do have that option Moving back just a little bit before we get down to the inside of the shoe, the upper sock liner type area here, that's gonna match up with what you saw on the midsole as far as colors go, right? So there's that for you. And it also matches up pretty well with what you're seeing on the inside. So looking down in here, first off, starting with the back with all the padding and stuff. It's the same type of padding that you normally see on 350s and whatnot. And then in the very back, you've got those three stripes that do have a little bit of 3M there just for flare and such. So that's always a nice touch in my eyes because I do like 3M. And then moving down here onto the in, actual insole, right? So that you're looking at the same color that you saw in that, that outer sock liner area, that same light beige, with maybe a, even a slight hint of yellow in there with a little bit of brown for like the Adidas Yeezy text, right? But otherwise, it's all pretty much the same stuff that you've seen before. And then when you look at the inside, it does kind of look kind of cool in a way where you can actually see all the little textures on the inside that you see also on the outside. Now, one quick thing before we go moving on past this, because we've talked about the whole visual of the shoe, but looking at the right one, like my, my right one and his right one, as you can see, they're very much both the same, right? As far as the texture goes. So it's not like this was just some sort of random printed text, uh, texture or whatever or pattern on here. And then flipping it around, looking at the inside. Same thing over there as well, right? Because I've seen some shoes like this where the left and the right will look different. This time around, <clears throat> they will, I almost say about the left and the right, but yeah. So both shoes look exactly the same. Even taking like the left and the right, it's going to still just be like an inverted pattern. Kind of like what they did with 
the React Prestos that I have, like the Leaf Pair and the Tiger Pair and stuff like that. And I want to say even those tie-dye, like Nice Kicks Ultra Boost. So at first I thought it might be a little different for each one, but nope, it's the exact same. So that kind of sucks in a way, but it still looks cool. It's just I kind of would have liked to have them have gone that extra mile. Let's go ahead and move past this. We'll talk about some personal thoughts, which I've already alluded to, but it gives me time to get you some other close-up shots, right? Now, looking at these from the pictures that I saw, I was thinking, yeah, these look pretty all right. This should be a pretty good shoe to have. We'll see what happens, right? Because at the end of the day, if I get them, great. If I don't, that's fine too. I've got a lot of them. But I did get them, and now looking at them, I'm like, oh, okay, these were worth, you know, the effort of waking up slightly earlier than I would normally wake up by like 10 minutes and logging into some site to buy them. So that's cool because I like the way that they did like the coloring on these, you know, they chose in my eyes some good colors. So that's always a plus. And just the fact that they switched it up a little bit past like the normal feeling or past like the normal type of material that they would do, you know, cause like I always say that like Yeezys just kind of have a look to them that can get old, right? It can, but in this case, I like that they change it and they change it for the better on like that mono series where they change it for like a significantly worse look. So that's cool, right? And I didn't really get into it before, but looking up here really close and stuff, and you'll probably see in pictures in the previous section that it's got like, it almost looks like it's a layered texture on the outside of here. So that's pretty cool. You know, sometimes when you're doing these reviews, you don't see stuff all the way because you're just kind of talking about it and just kind of moving around but yeah it's, they they did a pretty all right job on these so <clears throat> i like them and i think my brother's gonna like them too and from what i saw on social mediums other people like them as well but you know sometimes that stuff is just hype and you you just can't really buy into it you know you just gotta wait and see it for yourself so there we go like i said pretty solid shoe I do like it but now let's go ahead and put these on and see what they look like on the feet and whatnot and give you some thoughts on comfort size you know the, the normal thing that I do in the third section of the video right now as I was saying before I bought these in a nine and a half because that's the size that I buy in things right and they're feeling pretty much like they would normally feel so there's that as far as like the sizing and the dimensions and whatnot. Anything else that I need to add in that I forget to say will have been thrown across the screen, right? So make sure you're actually looking at the screen and all that stuff for the little words that pop up. But yeah, so like I said, sizing wise, I went with the nine and a half because that's what makes sense to me. I think that just wearing them, kind of giving them some time to kind of break in just a little bit helps. With a model like this, it doesn't have as much free range down in there because like those plastics on the inside. So this is one that probably won't break in as much over time. So when it comes to like, if you go to true to size or not, this one could be one where you might want to think about that twice, you know, even for the people who are standard with a true to size, like I'm still good, you know, but for anybody that's on the fence, you know, just it's something to think about. But you can kind of compare that to maybe some other ones because this isn't the first one of that style, I don't think. But either way, moving on past that, onto like the midsole and all that stuff. The boost on here, like I always say, it's super plush and super cushiony, right? It's like walking on a very nice carpet in some ways, like where it's like super thick, you know, and you just kind of sink into it. And as good as that sounds, it doesn't sound good to everybody. So some people like something with a little more firmness to it. And I totally understand that. If that's you, don't buy these. Like I've said before, it, if you don't care one way or the other, then okay, cool, consider it. I will also say, consider the fact that these, while some people say they are the most comfortable thing out there, I find that to be inaccurate. I think that they're comfortable, yes. And they're, to some extent, sometimes worth the retail price. Resale price, almost never. Actually, I'm gonna say fully never. But do whatever you wanna do with your money. I just think that if you're looking for just some straight, comfortable, casual shoes to wear all day, Again, React Visions, those Retro P E5s, right? Both solid choices. There's a lot of solid choices out there, honestly, for a lot lower of a price. But hey, again, it's your money. Do what you want to do. I just try to put some stuff out there so you can make a, what do they call it? An informed decision, that, an informed decision. 
So I think we're good on all this stuff. So I'm going to wrap this video up because like I said, I got to get to a show in a little while. The Expendables, right? And Ballyhoo, for those who are paying attention. So from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my last video being recorded for today. These won't go up today because I just don't have that kind of time. But they'll be up there soon enough and then you can watch all three of them if you want to or you can just pick the one or ones that make sense to you. For now, again, later people.